Welcome to Horizontal Chart video. I want to introduce to you this chart and explain to you how to build it. To begin, open word processor. In order to be able to build your horizontal chart, you need Microsoft Word or any other word processor that has table functions. Please know that each word processor may be a little different, but the principles are the same. If you do not have Word in your computer, you can install an optional software named OpenOffice. It is free of charge by downloading it from the openoffice.org website. Once Word is open, go ahead and open a new blank document. As you can see in my screen, you see the final horizontal chart of the Book of Titus. This is just to show you the goal of this tutorial. I will go ahead and delete this table so I can show you how to do it from scratch. Assuming that you have done all your paragraph titles of Titus, go ahead and open that file. Once that paragraph title file is open, select all the paragraph titles and copy them. How does copying text work? Select the paragraph titles with the mouse and go to your menu Edit, then Copy. Now go back to your Word document and paste them. How does pasting text work? That works by going to the menu Edit, then Paste. Once the paragraph titles are placed, select them all. Now that they are selected, go ahead and look for the icon or option Table. Click on it and you will see how the text automatically goes into a table. From now on we will work on modifying this table. In order to do that you will use a lot the right click of your mouse. Step 1. Make sure the table is not selected. Go and place your mouse by the far right of the table. Once your mouse icon change for an arrow pointing down, you can add a new column to your table. So let's go ahead. Wait until the mouse becomes a different icon. Right click and insert column. We will do this process two times. First for our segments that will become our verticals and secondly for the title and key verse of the book. Now you have new columns with many rows. I want you to select the first rows until paragraph title chapter 2, verse 10. I chose that first as a division break of this book. Now you will learn how to merge cells. So click the right bottom of your mouse and click Merge Cells. As you can see, all the rows are becoming one. So go ahead and type the title of this segment. I choose Teach Sound Doctrine. And now let's align the text direction to Vertical. Let's do the same process with the second segment. Select all rows, merge them and place the text. I choose Write Living by God's Grace. Align the text direction. You're almost done. Now that we have completed the segment text, we can work on the center alignment of the text. Select the text which you want to align to the center, then go to your toolbox or toolbar and hit Align Center. The last thing we need to do with the text is to add the main title and the key first to it. So go ahead and merge all the rows in the last column. Place the text of your Titus book. I choose God Grace Producing a Godly Lifestyle. Change the text direction. Now let's include a good possible key verse to Titus, such as Titus. 11 to 12 for the grace of God has appeared bringing salvation to all training us to renounce impiety and worldly passions 
and in this present age to live lives that are self-controlled, upright and godly. Well done, you completed your table. Now it is time to scale your horizontal table to a page size. But before doing that we want to give approximate proportions to the spacing of the paragraphs. Not all the paragraphs will have the same space. What I mean by that is that each paragraph has a length. As you can see in your Bible, some paragraphs are bigger than others. Once you see the space in your horizontal, it will help you see what areas the author emphasizes more. So I will go ahead and do some enter spaces in the paragraphs where I see there is much content such as 1, 5 to 9. I will do 4 enters. Or 2, 11 to 14. I will do three enters. Three, one to eight. I will do five enters. There is no rules for space enter of the paragraphs. You just need to observe the paragraph that contains more verses. I will go ahead and put into the smaller paragraphs some enter space according to the amount of verses. To end up the size of the frame, it is possible to scale the paragraph column and table by dragging the table manually with the frames of the table box. Make sure you extend it mainly down and not outside the frame of your page layout. To make this chart look better, you can always take away the frame of the title and change the color of the text. To take away the frame of the title, please click inside the cell. Click the right bottom and select Borders and Shading. There is a pop-out window that will appear. We will work in the right side box. Make sure you select in the bottom to the options Apply to Cell. By clicking in the line frames in the top box we can delete the line frames we do not want. Once you are sure you want to delete those frame lines, click OK. Change color and size of the text as you wish. Well done! Have a great time learning!